Hello, you're watching my YouTube channel, Dorothy Chia Piano. Today I'm going to talk about the difference between getting an acoustic piano versus getting a digital piano. I hear a lot of parents with students who are starting out on piano having to make this very difficult decision about whether they should purchase an upright, a grand acoustic piano or a digital piano. And I thought I would like to share with you my thoughts as a piano teacher who has taught for several decades. I do understand that today's modern living, we have a scarcity of space. And so between putting a grand piano versus an upright piano, definitely an upright piano takes up much less space. And between getting an upright piano and a digital piano, the digital piano is even lighter, smaller, and um, takes up less space in your apartment. So if your lifestyle is one of an expatriate, or if you are staying in a rented apartment, or house, then you might be thinking, if I'm moving all the time, then it doesn't make sense to purchase, uh, to make a big investment on getting an acoustic piano. So in terms of lifestyle, a digital piano works best for me. You could also be thinking of budget, all right? Getting an instrument is a big investment. The price of a digital piano can uh, begin from a few hundred to I bought, I bought mine for a thousand plus and uh, that is a big difference from getting an acoustic piano. So most acoustic pianos start from three thousand uh, sing dollars and this grand piano that you see here, this is about twenty over thousand. Okay, so it's a big and long-term investment. So if you're looking at your child who is just starting out, you might be thinking, well, I don't know if my child is going to be serious about his or her piano lessons. So I'd like to try out first. Mm -hmm. And so once things get a bit more permanent and I can know that my child is serious about their piano lessons, I can then upgrade from my digital instrument to an acoustic instrument. That could also be a point of view that most parents have. Some parents want their child to only enjoy music lessons. So they want them to enjoy having a classical piano, to have a jazz piano, to have a pop piano, and be able to play a variety of genres, not just classical. So. If their objective of piano lessons is to have the child have music in their life and to play for fun, then a digital piano might work for them and serve their purpose. So they're not looking for something serious like going for piano competitions or going for the ABRSM exams. So uh, in this case, uh, a digital piano in the minds of the parent suffice. And uh, all these points I hope I've articulated uh, from the viewpoint of the parents. In my next video, I'll be talking about the viewpoint of the piano teacher. So if you have other points to add, do fill me in on the comment box below. And till the next time, see you. Bye-bye.